Hello all you fine people, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda in a Shack. Where we last left off, we were just starting Deeply Shrine. And now, we will continue with the dungeon. Though technically we didn't really start it, so it's not continuing, it's more starting, but... <laughs> ah, slugs. <laughs> this place has got a fine infestation of slugs. It's like that movie Slither. Slither, Slithy, Slithy, Slithy. I don't like that movie. This recent I saw it. It gives me the creepies. But I guess that's the point of a horror movie. It gives you the creepies. Found a small key. Use it to open locked doors and blocks. You can use it only in this dungeon. So, anyone who's Laszlo, I mean Ezlo. <laughs> Hmm, there's a locked door here. See if you can find a key to open it. Wow, yeah, I found a key to open it. I'm sure everyone here is familiar with how Zelda works. Yes, Ezlo, I see that lever, and I do think I should be able to pull it. I already know that I can just stand in front of it and press R, and then to grab it, then press the directional pad to pull. Wow. It's almost like I played through this game. Ah, but friggin'. Luckily, tutorials aren't as frequent in this game. Once you get, like, as soon as you get past this dungeon, the tutorial is pretty much over. It's like, you understand how the game works. You understand what you're doing with your life. Wow, look at the size of that barrel. The barrel. Hmm? Oh, right, right. How silly of me. It's not big, we're just small. And unlike some gaming duo, who I will not name, they, when they play through a Zelda game, they don't read anything. And it's just like, oh, Fee, yeah. Fee told you that you can do something. And then next episode, the guy's like, no, you can't do it that way. Frick. And then it's like, oh, but funny thing, an episode ago, Fee told you you can do it that way. He told you you can, okay? Stop hating Skyward Sword just because you don't play it right. Not gonna name any names, but I'm sure someone out there knows who I'm talking about. Hey. What? Hey, be careful, my lad. The barrel just moved. The barrel. Can't walk over that. It's got spider webs. The amazing Spider Man must have been graffiti in through here. I gotta get me some pictures of that boy. Not in a not in a weird way. I'm just doing an accent. Doing a voice for J. Jonah Jameson. Because he wants the pictures of Spider-Man. He wants them. He wants the pictures of Spider-Man. You found a dungeon map. Check it on your map screen. Lighter rooms are ones you visited. The blinking room is your location. Press up, down, on the D-pad to check different floors. Thank you, map tutorial. I'm sure you won't tell me that every time I pick up the map. A burp. I just did a burp. Luckily, I didn't do a burpee, because burpees suck. They're one of the most painful exercises. Oh, down the switch! Yep, wow, it's almost as if I'm on my way to do that, Laszlo. Okay, your name is now Laszlo. For the rest of the series, A pull it! This is extremely important, so I hope you take pains to remember. Basically telling me that I can pull or push items. You got a small key. You can open the doors only in this dungeon. So glad it only tells you that the first time you pick up the key. Yeah, Minish Cap is definitely a good game. One of the better Zelda games, if you ask someone with a fine palette. But, not perfect. I don't think there exists such a thing as a perfect game. Though there are certain games that dang, get dang close, I'm sure I'll be playing eventually. And, but for right now, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. It's a fine game. Good and well designed. 
though not designed by the main Nintendo team, surprisingly. It was designed by Capcom. Designed by the same team that made a Kirby Squeak Squad on the DS later. Which is also a great game. Not, not great, like in the shaft is great, but pretty good game. Definitely a Kirby game. It's fairly decent. Might also be doing some Kirby games eventually. Uh, I don't really have the recording. Uh, I guess I could download ROMs of certain ones, but then it's, you know, not get the support of the creator, which I really want to support the creator. Man, I wish I had money. Hello! Whoa. It's a small key. It's gonna tell me that I can open locks and blocks. Okay, and flesh. On my uh, little pre-recording profile, I played through the game on. I beat Deepwood Shrine, and that's as far as it goes. So that's everything that's fresh on my mind. First mini boss of the game is the worm. One that you also. Actually, no, I'm not gonna spoil nothing. I'm not gonna spoil nothing. It's because I've played this game a million times, but you know what it is. Kinda reminds me of the Wiggler, but without legs. Yeah, I just gotta slap him in the nose, and then his blood turns into his heart, and then. And then you'd kill him, and stab him mercilessly. Because we need the Gust Bell. Definitely not the Gust Bellows. Pretend that those don't exist. They did A or B, the item screen use it. Yep, classic Zelda controls. Two items at a time. The freaking Gust Jar is way better than the Gust Bellows. You have three. Collect just one more to increase your life energy. Ooh. I wonder if we'll get four hearts before we're even done with the dungeon. Ready? Aim! Fire! Oh yeah, there's another heart piece right there. We'll definitely get that money before the end of the dungeon. Got mysterious shells. Make sure those are used to get the collectibles that are optional. Okay, cool. So yeah, if we warp back to the beginning, we can use. We can go back and get the hearts. Is that even it does? Okay, cool. I'm gonna pick a wood. Okay. What do we gotta do? We gotta. What do we get? We got the Gus Bellows. Oh, yeah. That means we can go down there and do all that stuff. But, first. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and. Go out this way. And then we have the Gus Bellows. We can return this way, which we could not before because we couldn't suck. Couldn't suck. We couldn't do any suckage. Couldn't do any any sucking. Okay. And with that, we got a fourth piece of heart. You completed a new heart container. Your life energy has been replenished and increased. Thank you, game. I very much appreciate it. Alright, we just gotta wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Destroy this web. Is this supposed to be the worm mini boss that's creating all the webs? Fine. Now what? Unless we find a way to travel by water, we won't be going much farther. Oh, look, a way to travel by water. Wow. Laszlo sure is smart. Oh, 
now. It did not turn out the way I intended. Die! Puzzle. Little puzzle de wuzzle. Just a little puzzle. <laughs> a puzzle puzzle puzzle. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and we're on our way out of here. Don't drown me. And we got a small key. You can open locks and blocks. Locks and blocks, people. Remember that. Locks and blocks. Remember that. Full bow. Yeah, compass. Basically, what the compass does is it shows you where in the room you are. Right? Or does it show you where items are? It shows you where items are. And then also where you are in the room, I guess. Which, that's not what compasses do. Compasses don't show you where items are. Otherwise, I'd go buy a compass and just make a profit by stealing things that I find lying around. Whoever found it, found it. Okay, and we're off that godforsaken lily pad. Let's take water. And... Suck. And suck. And that was not enough suck. That was that was a puny amount of suck. If you just mash, you'll get sucked. Uh, that, yeah, no, I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass on that one. Okay, almost to the end of the dungeon. And luckily, not every dungeon is this short. Twenty rupees! The next dungeons are sufficiently long than this. Okay, we're at the boss. Here we go. Want just a tiny choo-choo? Really? A tiny little choo-choo? And a small little choo-choo? Ooh. The choo-choos! It's a jumbo! Sorry, mate, but our runway is not big enough for a bird of your size. Back! Back, I say! Oh, didn't realize I hurt you because it didn't when I was fighting him before. Okay, only one jump junior. Ah, oh, this is not doing good. It's not doing good this one. Boy! That was a close one. I said back! I mean it! Friggin' uh, my practice run, I did, I did it without getting hit. And I was like, oh man, I'm the real good at this game. Uh, but more importantly, 
we have the Earth Pod. Ah, uh, if only the game would tell us about the Earth Element or something. You got the Earth Element. The power of the Earth is the source of all living things. The Earth Element is the embodiment of that power. So what, I can do Spirit Bombs now? You got a heart container. Your life energy has increased and been replenished. Five hearts it is, broski. Ah, we've got the Earth Element. We must go tell the Elder at once. Yeah, let's go do that, I guess. We got nothing better to do. We got nothing lined up on the sketch. Must jewel. You retrieved the Earth Element from the, that fiend-infested shrine? Incredible. Humans are amazing creatures. The Elder is sure to be amazed too. Well, as long as I got Festari's approval, I'm happy. And you have never seen any Minish before you came here? Really? That's so strange. We Minish live all over the place. Maybe I should just go get out of this sleepy little town and move to the city. Maybe I should go to the mountains. The folks there seem to have fun. Let's talk to the elder lady. So, you have found the earth element. You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Crenel. There, you will find a man named Malari. Among all the Minish, there is no more able to repair your sword. There is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, I am certain, he will reforge your broken Pokori blade. I shall send one to I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. You are brave. There are many evils now in the world. Okay, now I can see that shot it doesn't really make sense with that being arms, but as long as they're facing me, I can believe what I want. Leave through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great elder, we are in your debt. We shall head for Mount Crenel at once. Yep, we will. We need a little bed. A little bed. Bed of leaf. Okay. Are you bombs? Are you bombs? Green clothes and a mystical hat? Sir, would you by chance be shy, the one who found the earth element? Surely you are. I've heard so many tales about you. I'm Bellari. Researcher of antiques, I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. No, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. Bombs? Lamp oil. Rope? Bombs? You want it? Then it's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. It has ten bombs in it. Now you can blow a lot of stuff up. Demolitions expert link, here I come. Let's go ahead and set bombs as our secondary. Unless you're not really doing anything, sword is always primary. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Hmm, whoa, it blew up. It could, kid. Look where that stone marker used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, this must be... Well, I haven't the foggiest... I, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. What's this one? Three Minish Holes. Bomb! A blue rupee. Rupee. And some mystery shells. Yo! Bug boy. Get on out of there. Is there anything we can ooh, we can move this up? Boom! Okay, and get a little one mysterious shells. It's opening up all sorts of ways today. Hurt myself, don't care, don't care, don't care one bit. Oh, you fiend. No! Look at this skinstone piece. Have you never seen one like this? 
but you don't know what a kinstone piece is, well, tell you what. Why don't you come back and see me when you get one, okay? Okay, freaking. You don't have to pressure me. I'm, I'm very. I'm very vulnerable to pressure. I don't like people having expectations of me that I can't fill. You can't lie to me, and I feel like there's something in that ground right there. Nice. Triple, double, quadruple, massive. Now we can be on our way to Hyrule Town. By that I mean Hyrule Town. Hyrule Town. Now they're gonna tell me about Kinstones! Yo, child! Yeah, yeah. You like Kinstones? Come on, come on, see how many Kinstone pieces you can collect. You never know what fusion Kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free Kinstone bag for holding your Kinstone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for your free Kinstone bag, aren't you? Actually, I was just walking into town and you cornered me, okay, with your little posse of children. Don't go telling assumptions about me, okay? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. Got Kinstone bag. You can now carry Kinstone pieces with you. Press start to view its contents from the quest status. Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called kinstone fusion. You get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. Unless it doesn't. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you walk up to them. Use the D-pad to choose a Kinstone piece. Press A to try fusing it. Did you catch all that? Yes. Stand in front of me and press L so I Funny thing about right here is, uh, when I was playing through this on my DS way back when, and the L and R buttons didn't work, I was trying to hit the, uh, the L button to start fusing, but the L button didn't work. So, what I found you could do is you can just quit the game and completely skip this. Though, it won't have the effect. I don't think I remember having it. Over by my house, a little bush opened up. A perfect fit. That means we're both due for a little happiness. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lie. Take your posse with you. Okay. Now we can visit the dog. Oh, Doge. Ah! I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Yes. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. What's a sword button? Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordman. Do you understand? Do you understand? Huh, very good. You are a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. You're just gonna possess me, really? Is there no consent to this? I call this the Swift Blade Possession Technique of Training. Watch this, earn POSSESSION! The Swift Blades are way cooler... Or, I don't, I don't think they're all named Swift Blade. I think they just have Blade and then whatever. Stupid, dumb, stupid. The, the Blade people are way cooler than the training guy from Wind Waker. I wish he could be in other games, but he never is. 
Press and hold your sword button to open up power and release your destructive might. That's all there is to it. Yeah, that's nice. That's bombs. Yes, fine work. Here, quick study. I'll now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with the scroll. You may view it any time from the quest status screen. You learn the secret spin attack technique. This is the first sword technique you've learned from Master Swiftly. You can teach me any others? I can teach you with your current sword. Come again when you have a new sword. So I, before I can break pots with a sword, I gotta go get a whole new sword. Really? really that's what we can do. That's what you're gonna tell me. That's what you're gonna rattle off in my little brain cavity. I think I can get that chest up there. Oh, they're not open yet. Oh, I'll come back later. I don't think I can really do anything in, uh, in town right now. Because I don't have the item to get from the next dungeon. We'll grab the same power we drive to the power land. Hey, that drum crumbled in the weather with those symbols. You know, no matter how many times you see it, it rattles me. Rattles me. Rattles me. Rattles me. Rattles me, silly. The Bronco, how are things? Stamp, stamp, right to left. Stamp, 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 friends. Stamp, stamp, right to left. Is that all you have to say? Stamp, stamp, it never ends. This guy's cool. I like the, the person who you get next. The little lady. King Stones. Anyone want to feel the skin stones? But well, he's gonna guard my path. Ho oh, oh. ho! So you've learned the spin attack! It's still dangerous. This is, uh, 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 oh. Okay, uh, bye! But maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. This. Ah, oh, what? Is this the uh, spin attack? Yeah, that's the one. There are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you're careful. Alright. Fox Boy! Foxy! He is Foxy. He's running. He charged us. Who told you that I was a fake Amron? You did just now, Fox Boy. Whoa! I am Tails the Fox. And I am a Fox Boy. Yo, scrub. Yo, scrub. Shrub, scrub. Okay, okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. You can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only twenty rupees. So what do you say, huh? Oh, absolute ding dong dang horse. Got an empty bottle. Use it to store all sorts of things. Thanks a lot. The Deku Scrubs are very, a very refined society. They're very refined. I can't break rocks yet with my sword. Because I'm to the next sword up here to break rocks with the sword. <laughs> Time for bottle puzzles. Everyone's favorite. Bottle? Can that work? We got water in the bottles. We get on different things. Blah, 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 blah. Then we're gonna see what's in this cave. That's a ruby rupee. Can ruby be? Yeah, you can say like ruby red. So what are you up to, sir? Okay, you got. It. Make it up to you by telling you something good. A friend of mine in a cave just used to here. Shelby Highlands has an item. If you're planning on growing, going up Mount Cornell, I think you might need it. It won't get you to the top, but it might just give you a start. Well, guess what, Buckaroo Heimer? I already got that item. 
And guess what? I don't need it. Uh, tic tacs! Tac tacs! Ticky ticky! Bang bang! Tic tacs! Tic tacs! Something like that. That's what it is. Now, I could break out the Gust Bellows and suck up the spikes, but I'm not going to because I don't really need to. Dum -bum 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 -bum. This is it, this is Beware of crumbling walls, blasting strictly prohibited. Oh, I'm above the law. Red Shoo Shoes. So this is, yeah, this is where you get the Mount Cornell juice. I think I need it, so... Oh. Man, those crystals are downy soft! With this perfectly normal looking in stone, was another portal to the Manish world. Or maybe another rock portal! Keep your eyes peeled, boy! Thanks, Laszlo. There's little mites. They're in the they're in the way. They're eating the leaves. That Mount Cornell's mineral water in your bottle. It's piping hot. If someone gave you like here, it's a bottle of mineral water. Like as a drink. And it was hot and green? I'd be like. No, this is not water. This is some brew you have created to try to poison me. This is this is an assassination attempt in the works. I'm out of gosh dang dilly darn bombs. Give me your bombs. Boink. You're just gonna tell me something out right now? Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by selling you bomb. Ooh. 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 What piece do you want? Thanks for telling me I don't have any Kingstone pieces, Laszlo. It's almost as if I already knew that book was just in denial, or that I wanted to know what piece he wanted so I could look out for it. If ever I see it, I can know I have to go back to that guy. Always conveniently at sword's height. Select the Z-axis. From the great words of Sequelitis Eagle Raptor. It's uh, no, I'm not gonna bad, not gonna bad mouth no one. I'm not bad mouthing. That's not what I do. I'm a nice person. Just put off their iron masks. Those guys are no trouble whatsoever. How do you know this? Double kill. And now we get to... Mm. Mm. Oh, of course, how silly of me. Uh, excuse me, that is rather unrefined. Hey, my boy, jump into that whirlwind over there. <laughs> I wonder, is this a great idea or a terrible one? You seem rather not trusting of yourself, Laszlo. Everything okay? You need to talk? I'm here to talk if you need it. Get me on the ground. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Didn't even touch the ground before I got Almost as if this is somewhere I need to bomb. Mount Boyle. Rope? Bombs? You want it? Then it's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough lamp oil. One, two, three. Lamp oil. Rope? Bombs? All right. 
right, now we just gotta continue climbing Mount Grinnell. What losers, what shrimpy little lumpies. What lumpy, shrumpy little dumpy dumpies. So we're gonna be finish. There's some over here in this. Was it, am I missing something? Am I uh, missing a something? Underneath all the dust. Underneath all the dirty dust. Those crystals are down as well. Now, I don't remember. Can I just pick this up like a Herculean man? I can. Don't need no gauntlets or nothing. I'm just a tall, little, scrawny, little, strong boy. I just said made no sense, but it doesn't matter. I'm also gonna go visit the miniature. Oh, this is not a miniature house. This is a small mini dungeon. I don't. I think there's only one mini dungeon in the game. You gotta be farting on my grave. Ooh, what are we gonna get? Kinsong Palace. Wow. I've always wanted. Okay, winding our way back through. Oh! Rolling away, rolling away, let's go rolling away, Yahoo! And we're Jumbo again. <coughs> Man, how do all them YouTubers, all those good ones, how do they go so, so much video without like burping or sneezing or anything? Because, man, it's when that sneeze starts welling up and yeah, it's just like, I gotta sneeze or I'm going to die. What's over here? And it looks like this is a place for us. Ooh. Do choose not hurt you unless they jump on you directly? Oh boy, yeah, these ones. Bombs? That's how it's done, boys. Boyos. Like the the devil attack, where he's like the boys and boyos, and dropping right onto that kick tight Cornell mine, Cornell wall. What is this Cornell wall? Oh, my intuition was wrong there. This uh, Mount Grinnell kind of reminds me of uh, the mountain, uh, mountain range from uh, Link's Awakening. Whoa! Close. Shortcut to bottom! But I cannot climb. I got weak on me. Yo, you got some steroids or something I can get to get strong arm? Okay, you got me. Let me make it up to you. This fabulous grip ring is just perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. Climb in style, it's only 40 rupees. What a bargain. So, what do you say, huh? Sure. You have a grip ring. I can easily climb cliffs that you cannot scale before. Thanks a lot. Coolio, now I can climb this and be a jumbo. 
be a genuine Chungus. This is a puzzle I cannot yet accomplish. So I think, uh... I'm gonna go over here. Well, that's the way down from the bum bum bum. And then maybe it's down here and then it's... Is that the answer? Can I jump down here? Or did I just... Oh, yep, here we go. Got two hearts. We're low on health. Just gotta hope... Oh, uh, those do have heart per. I really hope there are hearts in these rocks. Because the, the hearts of the fallen serve me well. Luckily, he can side climb like a monster. Can't climb up that fast. He can side climb like an absolute champion. Okay, real quick. Oh, no, don't like old Tic Tacs. In one of these caves is one of the masters. I think. What do you want? Use kinstones? I don't have that one. Wanna quit? Well, whatever. The Cornell Hermit, I don't the world because your life quite reflection. You seem to be but a child, and yet you climb this forbidden mountain alone? You must reward your courage with a little information. Have you not seen strange pattern walls as you climb this mountain? Bombs! Bombs are the answer. Whoa, it's almost as if I've done that. Uh, oh! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Hermit! Hermit, help! Norman, help me! Norman, I need help. Norman, please. Norman, where, where, where are the hearts? Norman, please. Okay, I just gotta run. I just gotta run. <laughs> Everything's scary. Back, back, ye beast. Bombs. Want it? It's yours, my friend. Oh, I killed him. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take the mush. Oish, oish, oish. Okay, now we're gonna. This mushroom controls the weather, so we're just gonna change to rain for no reason. It's gonna be scary. It's gonna be frightening. But all we gotta do is not die. And get through it like it is for. Good. All right. We've only got three quarters of water. Boy, these raindrops look like boulders of water to us, kid. Watch out! If one of them hits us, it'll sting something fierce. Yeah, I'm sure. The rolling in a straight line strategy seems to work well. Now we have a puzzle. This one's obviously got a roll in there. And I gotta get a different boulder in there also. I think I see the way I can do it. Push in the rain, push in the rain, let's go right in the rain, yahoo! They won't ever watch the backyard games out there. But uh, uh, how long have I been recording? Has it been super long? Uh, I don't have a timer. I don't have. Oh, it's been 44 minutes. Oh, I gotta see you people later. Goodbye, beautiful people.